Hello everyone. My name is Kaju Maju. <laughs> As you can see by my ears and by my son, Baguette, who sits on my head and my low stature. <laughs> Good morning, bedheads and sleepy brides. Welcome back to another sleepover. Uh, my name is Will Sleeps Not, where today I'm going to be taking over for Kaju when it comes to... Oh, good God, I have that one up. That's not supposed to be up. You guys didn't see that. Um, man, I had everything. I had so much time to get ready. I had so much time to get ready. And then I just goofed it all up. But hello, everybody. We're going to be doing Sketchy Sunday today. I'm going to be taking over for Kaju. We're going to see how that goes. It's probably going to be terrible, but, you know, we're going to try. You know, I made myself some ears and I made Baguette. His his ears wiggle with mine. But first of all, I got congratulations, Bells, Searings, and Blue for first, second, and third, respectfully. Also, hello, Bells. Hello, Searings. Hello, Blue. Hello, Brian. Hello, Avatar. I am not Oojack. I am Will, with bunny ears that wiggle. Blah, 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 blah. I've made the mistake of uh, figuring out how to do really quick slapdash modeling in Blender and being able to attach stuff to my character. So I made little bun boy, and then I made my ears. Well, I made the bun boy like almost a week ago. I made the ears this morning because I was like, oh, I could make ears. Now, I didn't make the ears correctly because I should have made the this ear um, lopsided, but I didn't because I was just trying to do it fast, so I just used a mirrored thing. But that's not important. How is everybody doing today? How are you? How has your weekend been? Happy Sunday. I am trying not to die from the heat. <laughs> Because we had just like thunderstorms for two days, kind of, sort of, and then it was nice and cold, and then it's just like, yeah, now let's jump up a lot of temperatures. Well, so, seeing as how this is supposed to be a Kajimaji stream, uh, first of all, the exclamation mark art week does work. I changed it a tiny bit to more represent the correct uh situations but yeah if, if anybody pops in and has any questions you can just type in exclamation mark art week and it will explain what's going on uh i added a redeem that i'm sure everybody will be very happy about it will only be on for today only today so everybody's aware just got done helping my dad fix the lazy susan in the kitchen and it's been raining a lot lately, so it's been couch, uh, it's been a couch weather day. Hell yeah, my dude. Also, grats on fixing the lazy Susan. Blue, I can't believe you would do this. I can't believe you would do this. I also don't know what your horoscope is, so. That's a whole other thing. But yeah, we can start with the horoscopes. Why not? Gemini. Ugh, that's such a Gemini thing to say. Ugh, it's so Gemini. Alright. Hopefully this works. I tried to set it up earlier to make sure that it worked, so... Uh... If I close this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh... Boom. Alright. So you said... Gemini. All right, Bells, Scorpio for you. So we'll start with Gemini, and then we've got Scorpio. Easy enough. All right. You guys ready? Gemini horoscope. Today. There may be tension in the air for no distinguishable reason or discernible reason. Family members may be preoccupied with problems they can't define. Your natural inclination could be to try to cheer them up, Gem uh, to cheer them up, Gemini, but it probably won't work. 
Don't be annoyed if they don't respond. It isn't them. Blame the planets. This is a great day to jog, take a cardio class, or something, or otherwise work out stress. I love that. I love that it, the, the whole indication here is like, hey, is your family kind of ignoring you and you're trying to break those boundaries down and figure out what's going on? And they don't want to engage? Don't blame them. It's the, it's the outside world's fault. <laughs> just like, did you ever think that maybe it's your family's fault? That they're just being weird and that they should, you know, uh, and that probably tomorrow you'll re-engage with them and they'll be like, hey, I was a dick yesterday, I'm sorry. Had nothing to do with the planets. I don't believe in horoscopes. I think they're dumb and stupid. But they're fun as heck to read. All right, but the most important thing though, obviously. And also, yeah, but the stupid thing though, in this case is like, yeah, today's a great day to jog, do cardio or otherwise work off stress. It's like, it's good to do a little bit of exercise every day, <laughs> even if it's just a light amount. So that's just, that's just good advice. <laughs> but here's the important stuff. We have, Pisces as love, friendship as Virgo. Oh, that's me. And career as Sagittarius. Your sex is low. Your hustle is low. Your vibes are kind of low. But your success, it's all right. Hey, Moon, how's it going? We just started Art Week and immediately we're already on Gemini. And it already pisses me off. <laughs> Just immediate rage. Because, yeah. Because horoscopes sometimes are just bull. They're, how to say, like, all horoscopes are pretty much vague blogna. But some of them are like, like here. You know, family members might be preoccupied with their problems that they can't define. Your natural inclination would be to cheer them up, Gemini, but it probably won't work. Don't be annoyed if they if they don't respond. It isn't them. Blame the planets. Do you fucking hear that shit? Do you fucking hear that bullshit? If somebody is being weirdly abusive to you today, don't blame them. It's the it's the space's fault. <laughs> no. It's a mixture of their inability to communicate their feelings or potentially just being toxic. Or they just need some space, but they still should be able to communicate that. I don't tolerate this crap. But hopefully that was uh, that was what you were looking for, Blue. Oh, wait, aren't we also supposed to click on like learn more? Yeah, there we go. Uh, your emoji today is, uh, Im I guess, embarrassed? Would that be the shape that that is? Insane Kuma, hello Kuma, how are you? So for sex, it's it's a sweatpant. Wow, they really use these, like, casually, eh? It's a sweatpants sort of night, and that's perfectly fine. Every day brings a new lesson. Especially the hardest days. As we all know, God gives his greatest ba gives the greatest battles to his littlest pog champs. You deserve to be treated with kindness, so say one nice thing about yourself today to lift your vibe. I mean, that's just a, a semi-good thing to do. Although there is actually psychological studies that forcing yourself to think positively about yourself is actually uh, detrimental because you're you're naturally inclined to resist it, especially if you're in a in a state of sadness or depression or anger. Like you'll you'll fight against yourself. So this potentially has ter is ter has terrible connotations that will actually lead to potentially like worse to a worse situation. Kiatele had a half decent night's sleep. Ramble time. Be prepared. Oh god, I never think positively about myself, so I'm safe. Blue, please. Bonk. Accept your flaws and uh and strengths both. 
the strongest thing that you can do is to figure out your flaws and figure out a, uh, and either embrace them knowing that you can't fix them or if they are fixable take steps towards mitigating and or correcting them that is the approach that you should be taking there's a study that i once read where oh my god blue stop uh where um what the heck was it again if you want to look at yourself you need to look at yourself from an outsider's perspective so there was there's kind of this thought process uh like astral projection is very much like a is very much connected to like horoscope thought process but from this situation it's actually kind of useful it's basically the idea that you can kind of step outside of your body from a spiritual perspective and essentially the thought process is take that thought process, like detach yourself from yourself and then look back at yourself as if you were not you. And from that, try to discern what your strengths and flaws are and whether or not they are um, things that you can adapt to or if they are things you should just accept about yourself. And hello, Cobalt. Thank you for coming in and doing what you're doing. I will stretch and hydrate and ignore those push-ups. <laughs> That's not true. I'll do the push-ups. But hello, Cobalt. How is your Sunday going so far? Hydrate redeemed. Now we stretch. We will now also mimic Cobalt, but I don't have like a... I don't have like a... A Cobalt outfit. So instead, we're just going to go... All right, everybody, if you would like to if you would like to join, by all means do so. Let us be healthy together. So first, we're going to reach for the skies. Do 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 do. Then we're going to reach to our side. Do 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 do. Then we're going to reach for the other side. Do 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 do. Then we're going to shake out our wrists. Do 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 do. And then we're going to shake out our feet. Everybody join along. Do, 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 do. That was my cobalt impression. <laughs> I don't think I nailed it. <laughs> Technically, cobalt puts his, uh, stretches so that his arm, uh, he goes, and then we stretch our arm along our body, and then we stretch the other arm, but I don't have that one. Wait, something's off about Kaju today. Yeah, I'm a little bit taller than I normally am. And one of my ears is straight in comparison to not. It's because he's taller. Hey, Moon, same wavelength. <laughs> Everyone's doing well today. I think, well, I think I'm doing all right. I hope that everybody else is as well. But hello, Cobalt. I hope that you're doing well. All right, I'm going to go do those push-ups because you're a... Bum. A bum 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 bum. <laughs> BRB while I do some push-ups. And then we're going for Scorpio, I believe, is the next one. Alright. We're back and fitter than ever before. Urgh, gun show. <laughs> and just how do we know that Kaju is doing his push ups? We need quality control. Nice try. The fact that I'm far away and I'm struggling and my shoulders hurt m just a tiny bit means that I did it. You want me to do a. <sighs> 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 Uh, would that be better if I'm just... Uh, uh, okay, don't do that. That's going to make me dizzy. <laughs> but there you go. That's Gemini. Don't let your parents... Don't let your family abuse you. All right. Next is Scorpio. And Kobo, which one are you? Oh wait, you're um 
Coupled your cancer, right? I think that's the that's your sign. I think. I can't remember. But all right, Scorpio. You probably aren't going to feel like socializing, even though friends want you to go out with them. Your patience uh, could be worn a bit thin. Scorpio, you may be annoyed at incidents that normally wouldn't bother you. This isn't a good day for group activities or parties. It might be best to get a good workout and then rest. You may feel better afterwards. Wow. Today is one of those, isn't it? Just... Oh, wait. Wait. Scorpio? Are you the one that's getting snippy with the Gemini? <laughs> Is Scorpio the reason that the Gemini are just like, why won't they talk to me? And the Scorpio is just like, I just need alone time. Ah! <laughs> All right, now the big important thing. And again, working out is fine. A little workout every day, even if it's just a walk is good. Also, uh, Bells, if I recall correctly, you've actually been a little bit of a social butterfly recently. So like, maybe you are at the end of your, your social battery right now and you're just like, yeah, this horoscope is so dead on. No, it's not. It's a lucky guess. Don't listen to it. <laughs> All right, and now for the obviously the big important parts. Love, Virgo, oh, that's me. Friendship, Aquarius, and career, Gemini, oh, that's blue. Sex, stars, hustle, eh, vibe, it's all right. Success, aw yeah. Are you sex out of 10? Uh, well, it's technically sex out of five, but it's four, se it's four sex out of five. That's pretty, that's, that's a lot of sex. How's it going, Triox? All right, the big important part. Your emo is monkey hiding. <laughs> it's a, a monkey hiding itself. Sex, no thank you. I'm a virginity warrior. Hell yeah, Syrinx. Keep the keep up the keep up the good war, I guess. <laughs> Avoid relationships, acquire currency, question mark. Alright. Sex. Venus is smiling down on you. Work it. Hustle. When all looks bleak, hard work and high spirits will get you through. Vibe. Look up. The sun is finally coming out. Success. You've worked hard and the universe is repaying you in abundance. Enjoy the moment. The horoscope being clear as ever. Oh yeah, Triox. I've already yelled at two horoscopes so far. Getting upset with them because they're either vague as shit or they're just... How to say, they're just giving like half bad advice. And how's it going, Vitrify? Could have told me that before I go, I am about that is a boat coming on. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go home to the old ball and chain. Just like, did you ever consider getting married when you like knew the person? Maybe that was a better option there, friendo. All right. Cobalt did not tell me which, which which horoscope he is and now, or which sign he is and now I'm panicking because nah baby now worry now <laughs> worry later <gasps> I was right heck you blue I nailed it all right Cobalt are you ready are you ready for your for your sign reading I hope so I hope so because here we go some mysterious phone calls might come your way 
Wrong numbers or hangups. Those are those are auto callers. Those are scam callers. And hey, Scott, how's it going? Uh, other people may seem less communicative than usual. Again, they're they're it's it's just it's it's just spam callers. Sorry. Other people may seem less communicative uh, than usual, Cancer, and you may be or and you may be preoccupied. You may feel a bit more nervous than usual, and that should go. But that should go away if you take a walk or get some other exercise. If you've been thinking about doing some writing, this is the day to start. Every single one of these is go and do some exercise. Go for a walk. Gonna murder anyone? I can't. I don't. I don't have to answer that, Scott. Scott, I don't have to. I don't have to answer that. It's one that I just end the stream just quickly in a panic. <laughs> See, it wants me to work on my script that it's just a coincidence, but it is a little bit funny, though. It is just a tiny bit funny. It accords to the prophecy. Good luck, Cobalt. I believe in you, buddy. Also, for today's matches, love, Taurus, friendship, uh, Libra, career, Aquarius. Oh my god, four stars across the board. Sex, hustle, vibe, success. Cobalt, today is the day. <laughs> your emoji is heart eyes. Sex, try out your dirtiest dance moves tonight. You might be meeting the... Do you, I think that's Footloose. Or is... Oh, it's dirty dancing, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's it's... It's a dirty dancing reference. Again, I think this is the third time that I've read this thing somewhere. Hustle. No, you're not asleep. Your dreams are actually becoming a reality. Vibes. Open your heart to positive feedback. You'd be surprised by the result. Wait, but Cobalt's had a feedback thing for so long. Has it been? And it's been a lot of positive feedback, if I recall correctly, though, right, Cobalt? Where you're just like, um... Uh, where it's just like, but I want to improve, but everybody's just like, you're doing great, Cobalt. <laughs> Success. Things are going to start taking off. Take a moment to sit back and smile. Enjoy the ride. Everyone is far too kind to me. And now you're seeing what's happening. Oh, sorry. I wasn't fully at the bottom. There you go. Look at this. This is what happens when you get a bunch of kind messages in response. Boom. Stars across the board, baby. Someone loves me today. Nice. <laughs> oh, now you're just now you're allowed to call uh, Cobalt Cancer, huh, Blue? But Patrick Swayze was a scumbag in the movie. I do not remember the movie Dirty Dancing at all. I know I've seen it once because I think my sister wanted to watch it, and I was like, ah, fine, fine, why not? I would never. <laughs> Sure. Oh, it's Sorcy. Still, still got, got an hour till R2 starts. Will SL3 BTP came here so early. Hello, Solarcy. How are you? <laughs> Welcome back. How was vacation, by the way? Also, I don't know. I don't think anybody else did any read horoscope redeems. I don't think so. Perfect. And we're done horoscopes. We don't have to do horoscopes ever again. Bells, turn off the horoscopes, Redeem. There's no more horoscopes from this point on. That's not true. If anybody wants to do that, you can absolutely do that. But I'm not like Kaju. I don't go off on tangent. Sorry about that. <laughs> Avatar. Avatar. Capricorn. All right, we'll do Capricorn. Fine. Fine, just for you. The vacation was good. I'm glad to hear. All right. So we got the following. <clears throat> Today, you might want to be left alone with your thoughts. It's all of these are either your social battery is drained. I am guess I'm saying it right now. Somewhere in here, it says you need to do exercise. Probably a walk. Maybe even oh, a brisk walk. Oh. Artificer, how's it going, my dude? Thank you so much for stopping by. We're reading horoscopes at the moment. So if you would like to have yours read, there is a redeem somewhere in the redeems where you can get your horoscope read. None of us believe in these, but they're fun to read. 
All right, here we go. Today, you may want to be left alone with your thoughts. Relaxing with a good book uh, could be at the top of your agenda, uh, Capricorn, and you uh, are, aren't likely to want to be interrupted. Noise and requests that don't usually bother you may irritate you, so it is best to spend some time alone and make the effort to be to be your usual considerate self uh, when with others. Take a brisk walk in reference or in uh, to relieve the tension. What did I say? Baby, nailed it. Everybody's today is just like, but oh, also, by the way, sorry, I didn't say thank you so much for the prime. Very much appreciated. Four months. Let's go, baby. They have to just throw that in. They have to. There's nothing to do with anything. Exactly. You'd like to be left alone and be away from people. Go for a walk. <laughs> All right. Uh, Artificer, what is your sign, by the way? And Brian, I believe you said you're a Leo, so we'll get to you afterwards. But here's the big ones. All right. For love. <gasps> Scorpio. For friendship. Taurus. And for career, Gemini. <gasps> That's blue. Low sex. Makes sense if you want to be left alone. Low hustle makes sense if you want to be left alone. But vibes and success, oh baby. Taurus, oh thank you very. All right, then we also get to hit the Taurus. All right, so your 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 emoji is stars. Take some time to cleanse your space of the ghosts of your past romances, aka your exes. It's really important, Avatar. You got you got to clear out those exes. <laughs> Clear them out. Get them out of your phone. Get them out of your closet. What are they even doing in there? Get them out of here. Hustle. When one door closes, another one opens. When one door gets slammed in your face, it's time to break down another. I'm sorry? That's not a particularly good way of approaching things. Five. The stars are starting to align and things are looking up. Follow their, gay, uh, their gaze. Yeah. Keep your head in the clouds. Stare up at the stars because you're reading a book. And you got to enjoy that book reading. Force your way through. No. Shame. Oh, sorry. Success. No shame and a little bragging. Just keep it in check. Nobody likes a cocky winner. You hear that, Avatar? No more, be no more being boastful. It's not allowed. All right, so next was Tauros, which I think, Scott, you said you were also Tauros, so enjoy the free, the free read here. It's almost Leo season. Are you also a Leo, Solarsi? All right. Tauros, or Taurus. You tend to enjoy a sol uh, oh my god, there's going to be exercise in this. We all know it, because this is going to- this whole day is just- everybody needs some time to themselves. Alright, here we go. You tend to be, uh, you tend to enjoy solitude, Taurus, but today you might feel a little more, uh, reclusive than usual. Friends could invite you out. No, they won't because everyone's avoiding everyone today. There will be no invitations of friendship. <laughs> Friends could invite you out, but you uh, but you aren't likely to accept the offer. You might even feel a little irritated. This is a great day to work out or throw yourself into your own projects. Your concentration is good and the physical activity will relieve the stress. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Wait, Vitrify, you're also a Leo? Oh shit. All right. Taurus, are you ready? Ba 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 ba. Friendship, Capricorn. Ah, there we go. Oh, and there you go. Sorry, love, uh, Capricorn. Friendship, Leo. And career, Scorpio. Sex, above average. Hustle, above average. Vibes, above average. Success, who needs success? Let's take a read of those. Oh, cool. Your emoji is a robot. <laughs> you feel flirty tonight. You're, oh, sorry, sex. You feel flirty tonight. Your charm might be enough to seal the deal. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Hustle. Your dreams are so close you can taste them, but you're not quite there yet. Vibe. Time to count all the blessings you have. Things are looking up. Success. Money talks. Unfortunately, things are pretty quiet in your world right now. Wow. Wow. That weird little knife sedge at the end. Just like, ha. Huh. Man, money's so loud. Wonder why it's so quiet for you at the moment. That's crazy. You know, as the horoscope just like crosses one leg over the other and sips their tea obnoxiously loud. Just like, man, that's crazy. That's pretty crazy, you know? <laughs> Ah, also enjoy, love that these particular, that horoscopes always view success as like a money thing, you know, as if that's the only measure of success in life. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You have, you're going to see money in the future. Success is on its way. All right. So with that, Taurus, uh, yeah. You're going to be annoyed at people, and people are going to invite you, except they're not, because nobody wants to invite anybody to anything today, because everybody wants to just be left alone, or is upset about being left alone. But, off to Leo. Now, do you think there's going to be exercise in this one? Could this be the one that has no exercise? Could it be that Leo dodges the bullet of exercise. Maybe we're about to find out. Confusion over money matters may arise, Leo. You may need to check your records to shed light on past uh, transactions. Don't worry. All should be well once you uh, ascertain the facts. You may have some intense dreams tonight. Write them down. You will want to remember them later because they may reveal a lot about your current situation. They may also inspire future projects. <gasps> well, there you go, Leos. You guys don't have to exercise today. You're worried about money. Confusion over money matters. Yep. Sorry, Vitrify. Better go triple quadra check those, uh... <laughs> go check those, those numbers. Money matters. I had that problem when I was at my apartment. So you're already dodging them, Brian. Boom. Easy. I remain a fat <laughs> Triox is just sitting there like, oh, God. Are they going to tell me to exercise? I don't want to exercise. <gasps> I don't have to exercise. Yes. Pog. <laughs> Leo, no exercise. Exactly. All right. Are you guys ready? Slowly. Slowly. Here we go. Oh. I don't need to check the bank because I know I'm broke. All right. Love is Aries. Friendship is Sagittarius. Career is Capricorn. Sex above average. Hustle, far above average. Vibes, doing good. Success, we don't really care about success here. This particular series of events is a bunch of bologna anyway. So your emoji is the laughing crying emoji. Sex. Need a pickup line? What's your sign? Always works. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's an old, outdated man. An old, uh, the laughing man. Yeah, if we think about it like tarot cards, you flip over the card, it's like the laughing man laying right side up. <laughs> Figures my hustle would be up there. Hell yeah, Brian. Need a pickup line? Yeah, so don't do what's your sign. Just don't do that. It's silly. All right. Hustle. People are going to be drawn to the aura of your success. Remember who your real friends are. I mean, that is actually just good advice. Speaking of, uh, of romantic people signs, uh, I've been reminded of my curse. Your curse, Solarcy? Question mark. Vibe. Uh, your head is in the clouds, but your feet are planted firmly on the ground. Way to say nothing in a sentence. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you are asleep while being wide awake. <laughs> 
you are eating while hungry. <laughs> like, just, you're looking up, but also down. Boom, Triox gets it. Just like, uh-huh. You feel simultaneously tall and short. <laughs> Where every man I've dated has been a cancer. Or alternatively, Solarcy, if those... If the people that you've dated were toxic, maybe it wasn't that they were all a cancer. Maybe they were just cancer. Nailed it. Got them. Got them. I don't know if they were toxic relationships. I hope they weren't. But still, for the sake of my joke, ha <laughs> ha. So Larcy has a type. Yep. Oh, they were terrible. All right, then I stand by my, and then I stand by my, uh, stand by my statement. I stand by my terrible joke. All right, and success. It is okay to take a break, but don't quit your day, but don't quit your daydreams. Fair enough. You picked both the destroy and the, uh, the synthesis endings. <gasps> But not the... What was the other one? The control endings? Or what? I think it was the control, right? Something along those lines. I don't remember what the third option was anymore. No one picks the control ending. I picked all of them. Because I wanted to see all of them. <laughs> Did they mean de day jobs? No. Daydreams. Like, never stop... Uh, never stop dreaming, essentially, is what they're trying to say. Statistically, this is less unlikely than other signs. Summer and spring birthdays are more common. <gasps> That's a really good point, Avatar. And also, spring and summer has a tendency to have people uh, start new relationships as well. Because it's, well, you know, because you suddenly get a bunch of energy and, you know, you're not having, like, the sads anymore. So you're just like, oh. Oh, it's too late for me then. What do you mean, Vitrify? You have a great imagination. I know that you do. You're very quick-witted. <gasps> Disco, hello! And thank you for the hydrate. Very much appreciated. Don't worry, Disco. I was stalling just for you. Thumbs up. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, how to say it? Are you sure? I was! Look, we haven't started yet. I won't be fooled by my... By my own brain scams. No, it's not a brain scam. It's... It's just... You gotta get on to that freaking... The, the brain train. All aboard to Imagination Station. Come on, you gotta go that way sometimes. Choo-choo. Yeah, he's quick uh he's quick witted, unfortunately. What do you mean, unfortunately? Head in the clouds, feet on the ground, checks out. No, it says nothing. It says nothing. There's an easy way to scam your brain. Uh, is it heroin? <laughs> or cocaine? <laughs> Or any other, like, hard, addictive drugs. The brain, uh, the brain boat down the brain river to the, oh god, the, the Brainiana's branch. <laughs> Sorry, I had to leave that, read that out loud to fully understand what you said, Triox. 10 out of 10, I liked it. The brain, uh, the brain plane, no, sorry, the brain brain, uh, down to the Bermuda Briangle. Rice cooker is still cook. That rice cooker is still co cooking in my mind. The rice cooker. 
More information is required. Be surprised if anyone I got. I would surprise anyone if I got five hours of sleep. I feel that, Triox. I had that yesterday. Last night, for some reason, I actually slept relatively well and had the most fucked up dreams that I can't talk about because the one person that I told the dreams uh, that I told the dream about was like, that is the most horrifying thing I've ever heard. And I'm like, is it? <laughs> like, okay, guess we're not sharing that with anybody today. <laughs> Cooking rent-free. <gasps> That's a good point, Vitrify. You gotta... You gotta, uh, Moon, you have to charge rent on that rice cooker. You gotta get your money's worth. Can't do that rent-free, not in this economy. Pardon my yawning. Alright. I think we got everybody, right? Everybody who redeemed. We did... What was it we got... Uh, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Scorpio, and Capricorn, I believe. Oh, that's a mood vitrify. Why would you bring such a mood? How dare you? Take your mood and get out of here. You don't need that mood. What kind of rice are we cooking, though? I don't have a good joke. I would love to. <laughs> Cried rice. Got him. <laughs> Cause sadness. Pay up, I don't care what your horoscope says. Well wait, who's who's live who specifically is living rent free in your head, Moon? I don't know I don't know the reference. I should know the reference, because I was probably even there for it. I don't remember. Outsource frying your rice to the shrimp. Oh shit. Actually, somebody just recently sent me an image, and it was like a picture in a manga. And it was like a girl in a maid outfit, like, frying rice, and a little text bubble that said, I'm not a shrimp, sir. And I just sighed. I sighed, and I didn't know what to do with life from that point. <laughs> or at that point, just like, well, this is a thing that exists now. All right, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. Uh, we're gonna close this back up again. But doom. Because I'm pretty sure I got everybody. Let's see, get out of here. Just wanna make sure. Also, thank you, Vitrify. I didn't even see that you did that for me. It's very appreciated. So running joke that moon's router. Oh, that thing. Oh, that it's a rice. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Vitrify. I needed that context. Okay. As is per usual to both my own streams and to Kaju streams, I do need to ramble about one thing. Have you guys ever just come across an article that um, you just like, it It just piqued your interest too much, you know? You know it's a clickbaity title, but you're just like, ah, frick it, click. And then you open it up and it's just... It's just rage inducing. Like, it's just terrible. And they're all from like, hold on, let me open up my phone right now. Let's see if we can find one that I'm that I'm talking about. Let's just let's just let's do a little experiment here. Oh, the ga the gaming bible does does a lot of crap like that. Like they've got um what do we got here? Oh, and PC Gamer does it really badly too. They're 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 both pretty bad for shit like that. Where you're just like, oh, that's an interesting title. Like, gaming bible. It's 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 like a a gaming news website of some kind. Vitrify. 
but they'll put stuff like, I remember once clicking on one that was just like, Steam is offering, like, when you read it, it comes across as, uh, you know, like, Steam is offering two, uh, like, two games for free, but in reality, it says, um, Steam is offering free downloads for two games, aka if you uh, go to their page, you can download like a demo or you can download like a background <laughs> or something like that. I thought you were talking about an actual bo book for a second. Oh my God, bitch, I wish the gaming Bible. It's just the Bible, but written from the perspective of like a gamer. <laughs> And they said unto him, it cannot be done. And Jesus res responded with, just watch me, bro. And he up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, start, select, selected the heck out of that bowl of water. And boom, wine. <laughs> oh, no, it should have been, uh, it should have been gamer fuel. <laughs> gaming bible written somewhere between 10, uh, 100 AD and 400 AD. It's all about chariot racing and getting eaten by lions. Oh, hell yeah. But the one article that I found was talking about the article was like gamers have decided that Starfall does not need a demo. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Any consumer who would say something like that is out of their mind. I'm not saying there should be a demo, but demos are helpful. They're helpful, they're important, and they're free. And the article basically goes on, mind you, I'm reading this on my phone, so it is just smack dab full of ads. It's just ads upon ads upon ads. So it's like a paragraph, two ads, a paragraph, two ads. And basically it's like, Although uh, although some gamers do indeed agree that there should indeed be some sort of footage that we can use in order to, de to determine what kind of gameplay we will be experiencing through Starfield, many have voiced, their have voiced their opinions that we should in fact not have a demo. And their argument was that even though the game is, you know, like $70 or whatever, that it's also going to be on the Xbox Pass. So if you don't want it, you can just get the Xbox Pass and, you know, you can just get the Xbox Pass and remove it afterwards and play something else. And what does that mean? That means that instead of spending $70 on it, you instead spend however much a game pass is. So in other words, instead of getting a free demo to test it, you have to, they're just like, no, no, just spend less money. And it's like, well, we could also just not spend money. You words that I can't say. That is not an article you should read just before bed. It gets you fired up. <laughs> That's a, I may have been mildly yelling at my phone. Just like, why do you mean? You want us to, what is wrong with you? you <laughs> Journalism, exact, oh my God. It was, it was so, it's so, yeah, I need to stop clicking on those. But every now and then, I'll see one and I'm like, oh, because sometimes you'll catch something. Like, apparently right now, if I'm understanding correctly, uh, Elder Scrolls Online is free to grab. So, like, that's cool for people who have kind of, like, been looking at it. Unless it's already been free for a little while, in which case that article is really going to piss me off because I just read the title. Uh, I picture Will Hustle... Uh, huddled under the blankets yelling at his phone in the middle of the night. I mean, yeah, essentially, Vitrify, I was laying on my back with my phone above me, 
Like I was holding my phone above me and I was reading it. And then I basically put my arm down with my phone in hand and then yelled at the ceiling. <laughs> Dude, that stuff gets me fired up because it's so, it's so, hey, you have to write one article a day, write something. And they're just like, got it, boss. Have you tried yelling into your phone? I've tried. It doesn't work. It just makes me have to wipe the screen off from all the spittle of me yelling at it. It's more work than I'm willing to do. Yelling at the ceiling, at least, you know. I know that my neighbors can maybe hear me. <laughs> and they're just like, God damn it, he's reading another gaming article. And I'm just like, they call these people journalists! Journalists! <laughs> now obviously I don't get that upset. That's for comedic effect. But I do definitely get miffed where it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Your idea, your response to not getting a demo or your your argument against a demo is that you can spend money to play the game. <laughs> That's the end of the rant. It, it, just, it just truly bothered me. It was just so like asinine, you know? Just so like how little are you getting paid to write this there you go chapter 6 verse 9 of the gaming bible thou shan't heed the words of game journalists verse, uh, verse 10 thou shall not consider them journalists Verse 10.5. <laughs> remember, remember, Kotaku. <laughs> Thou sh shalt not consider them gamers. Boo, Mitrify gets it. It is sad, though, because I've caught... I've come across a couple of them where they... Like, I've come across a couple, like, clickbaity-ish uh, article titles, and they've been good. Like, they've actually, like, been like, hey, here's a couple of games that are currently on sale during, like, the summer sale that you might not have heard of. And I peek through them, and I'm like, oh, these are actually half-decent games. I'm glad that they mentioned that. Hey, Mandalorian, how's it going? Like, like it's uh, those are situations where it's like, oh, this was a helpful article, you know? Definitely, like, games that were, like, obscure. I'm probably never going to get them, but I'm glad that they're getting recognition because, like, I take a peek at each one of them on, on, you know, on Steam, and I check, and it's like, oh, yeah, I can absolutely see these being appealed to, uh, like, being appealing to people, and it's like, they have, like, you know, like, 200 reviews. It's like, oh, this is a game that's not getting a lot of attention right now, and this article might get them some attention, and the game seems pretty decent. So it's just one of those, like, all right. And also, what about ramen? Moon? What about ramen? But then there's other ones like that. Or the ones that don't even write a new article. How to say it? They just do like a quick correction at the top of their stuff whenever they do something wrong. And it's just this little blurb which is like, yeah, actually, just a fair warning. Like, uh, basically, this entire article is wrong. Thumbs up. But we're going to keep the article up, though. There's actually a couple of them that are good and informative. It's just unfortunate that a lot of journalists are clickbaiting because they need to write 10 articles a week or something. Yeah, Vitrify, I feel that. And, and most of those ten, I swear, so many of them are AI assisted, you know? Because I've seen so many where it's just like, like this new game that's coming out on Steam is like a this meets this. And I'm just like, all right, you know, I'm intrigued. That sounds interesting. And then I'll peek at, um, 
like I'll take a peek at like uh, the article and the first like it'll say something you know it'll be just like yeah this game is kind of like da, da 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 and you know in my time blah, 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 blah. and then like the second paragraph I'll read it and I'm like I think I've read this before you know I'm pretty sure this is a copy paste because it's just like steam as we all know is a very prominent thing blah 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 blah, blah, blah that does this this and this along those things and it's been blah, and i'm like i've read this i've read this before i think i've read this in like four other articles today <laughs> chocolate disco no wow but fine i will do the 10 push-ups and i get what you're saying We'll start looking at the art. I promise. This I vow. We'll start looking at the. We'll start looking at the art as soon as I get back. I will be right back. I just needed to ramble about. I just need to ramble about freaking articles and their badness. Beerby. All right. Move the chair a little bit more. Is over there. And that was 10 push-ups. <laughs> Sitting one leg on the ground, the other leg on the leg on the ground. And then got pins and needles on my leg and I ignored it and went numb. And I wanna, and I would like you to know what well, will be funny, I'll walk on it soon and I stand up, will give out. Bruh, I've had that before, Mandalorian, where you're just like, oh, it's just pins and needles. It's fine. And then you stand up and it's just like, eh. <laughs> oh dear, I have fallen and I can't get up. Oh yeah, Cuphead is the Dark Souls of platforming. Man. I don't think that the term Souls-like is entirely bad. But the problem with it is, is that I think it, neg how to say it, there's, a, there's, a, everybody thinks that, thinks of something a little bit differently when you hear Souls-like. So it's that fun thing where sometimes you... How do I want to say that? Um, game dis how to say it? Game terms can sometimes be complicated because people will presume certain things come from it. And like you, some of you guys said, like souls like at this point, people make it just assume like there's a lot of people that are just like, oh yeah, crushing difficulty. But it's like, no. Souls-like has a lot of references, though. Like, bonfires. Limited healing items that replenish at, like, um, how to say it? That replenish at bonfires. Boss stages. Uh, unlocking, uh, traverse, like, uh, shortcuts. Like, dodge rolling. Um... From a thematic perspective, usually on the darker side, like dark and dreary, big open world, branching paths. <laughs> It'd be too uh too hard difficulty. But Moon, some of the some souls like games you can beat. Like even like Elden Ring is very much designed to be like, oh, you can't beat that boss yet? There's other things you can do. Go ahead and, like, level yourself up until you get to the point where you can beat that boss. Hold on, I'm missing a couple things. Souls-like refers to more of an action RPG subtitle. The phrase, the Dark Souls of, uh, usually refers to a difficulty curve. There's a good, that's a very good point, Vitrify. 
when I hear souls like, I just think about dodgeball. Like, <laughs> well, strength builds can block. And parry sometimes, I suppose. Parry is a difficult freaking thing to do. Well, Mandalorian, please take care of yourself. Uh, I was making a joke about how game journalists compare every hard game to uh, to a Souls-like game. Yeah, you are right, Brian. Will is the Dark Souls of sleepover genre. Oh my god. There you go, all vitrified. Now if I ever make a video game, like a solo dev video game, I have to make this, like I have to start the sleepover genre. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but now the onus is on me. Oh, sorry, Disco. Don't know why I said Vitrify. But yeah, Disco, I'll have to do that now if I want to make if I want to make Davigi games. I'll have to make the sleepover genre. One day this month. I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of, I need to play Elden Ring since. Uh, since I got it. Well, then do it, Kuma. You got stuff. As far as I'm aware, it's very good. At least as far as I'm aware, it's very good. I haven't played it myself because I'm not the best at the Souls games, but... One day next month. What do you mean one day next month, Moon? Just do it. I believe in you. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. One second. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't mind the man behind the curtain. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. The heck. Ah! Never mind, I can't do that. Oh well. All right, everybody. We're going to start looking at arts. Are you guys ready? You better be. Otherwise, what are you even doing here? Are you ready? All right. We're just gonna start with mine so that it's out of the way. You guys have already seen it. You know what it is. Can we wait? Thir Why 13 specifically? Did it work? Did it work, Vitrify? It doesn't look like it worked. <laughs> oh no. Nightbot. Yeah, I don't have Nightbot. One second. I do. I do. I do it myself. But I don't have Nightbot. That's the thing. I have stream elements. <laughs> Though it should work technically, I think. I don't know. Regardless. Badoom! Nightbot is dead. Long live Nightbot. Alright. You guys already know mine. So we're not going to go over it too much. Drawing and stuff and doing the things. It's... Discovery, flying, travel, boom, Dunskis, it's wonderful, I guess. The art stuff. <laughs> so we're just gonna move on. Immediately, because I don't wanna look at my art. I don't like my art. Every time Kaju goes to my art, I tend to mostly just switch to a different screen and then I, <laughs> and wait until he says that he's moved on to the next one. So we're gonna go to the next one. Thank you guys for the eights. Oh yeah, what's what's the word called again? Patch, 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 something like that. All right, and doom. First one is Chocolate Disco, and I need to quickly look again what the name of this character is because I am not good at names. This is oh god. Kawata? 
Uh, Makoto, Makoto from Flying Witch. I do not actually know who that is, unfortunately. Set game art. Well, jokes on you. I've already done it, Vitrify. Did I say that correctly? Chocolate Disco? I'm not sure, because I unfortunately don't know... Uh... But I'm just testing. Ah, uh, oh, you want to see if you get, like, an actual message that's just like, game has been set, too. I get you. But yeah, look at you go, Disco. I'm a big fan of it. I like the... I like that you're adding more shadows to the eyes. You're giving little more details here and there. I like the general shape of... Like, the general shape of your characters. You have a very distinct way of doing it. But it sounds good to me. <laughs> I mean... I'd say it's said correctly, but yeah, I like it, Disco. I'm not sure. Let me quickly d Google who this is because I would like to know. Search this character. Oh, she's the main character of the show. Ah, I understand. I am learning things. I like the anime a lot. Yeah, it looks cute. What kind of an anime is it? Slice of Life? Hold on. Flying Witch anime. What do we get in terms of genres? We got comedy, supernatural, and a word that I can't even pronounce. Oh, it means slice of life. Okay, it has a slice of lifiness to it. Nice, I like it. And the stream elements is very particular with permissions, so I don't know if you have to set for mods or if it's... Oh, good point, Vitrify. I'll have to look into that. Hold on, I'll make a note for myself. But yeah, thank you, Disco, for the art. It's very appreciated. We always appreciate when, you, when you're dropping in the arts. And I know that you missed one week, but you did too. So as far as I'm concerned, you're completely caught up. Your sins have been redeemed. <laughs> Dream elements permissions. But yeah, thank you, Disco. Everybody drop those eights in chat. Give us those sweet, sweet eights. Give Disco the eights he deserves, dang it. I unfortunately didn't get a chance to set up the, like, writing four eights and it pops in with more eights because I don't know if stream elements can do that. But, still. Also, I just realized that I ran out of water, so I'm sorry that we're doing this, but we're going to take a tiny, tiny break. I just need to grab some more water. It's slice of life elements, but a little more different. Ah, okay, Disco. I appreciate that. Yuru, uh, Yuru Camp is a, is a, an... I see, oh God, Iyashikai, Iyashikai? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. How the hell did you get YouTube from that, subtitles? <laughs> My goodness, but I need to take a really quick break because I need to get more water because it is really hot right now and I am my face is just damp with sweat right now so ice cubes and water are very important for me so we are going to take a super fast break if you guys can and are able to I hope that you get up and stretch grab yourself something to eat grab yourself something to drink make sure that you guys are taking care of yourselves I will be back in several minutes be prepared for ads because I'm still trying to figure out an experimental thing because Ad set or ad revenue on Twitch is very strange, and I'm trying to figure out how it works. I just, I just need to know. It's a weird scientific thing that I must know with my dumb ADHD brain. So I'll be back in five to ten minutes, and I will see you guys very soon.
Merp. Hello, everybody, we're back. For some reason, my brain continues to quote that stupid Kingdom Hearts scene, and I'm trying not to just walk into here and just immediately start quoting it. Chat, I'm disappointed. Oh no, Vitrify, what's wrong? And thank you, Moon, very much appreciated. And thank you, Blue. And thank you, Brian. Well, when ANK and there wasn't a single riot, it was more of a friendly protest. And thank you, Kuma. Vitrify, it feels like it was a, a friendly protest. And thank you, Disco. <laughs> You know, everyone was just like, yeah, woo, ha ha. <laughs> like there weren't any like words spoken. There wasn't screaming. It was just people going, woo, woo. <laughs> but all right, we are going off to the second bit of our, oh, and thank you Artificer, very much appreciated. All right, boom. <gasps> it's Blue's art. It is a shiny rib om b rib om b Is that how you say it? I don't know Pokemon very well. I don't know nothing about... I don't know nothing about no Pokemans. This protest is brought to you by... Chocolate <laughs> Disco and Blue Pixels. I'm sorry, Blue. I don't know Pokemans very well. But hold on. I'll Google the name. That's what we're gonna do. Rib. Um. B. All right. Pro. Pronounce. Is this going to suck? I'm. Hold on. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna mute this for a second because some of these things are meme esque. Ribombi. Ribombi. There you go. Ribombi. And it's a shiny Ribombi with a little scarf doing the little flying things. And we got also the little mosquito boys in the background. Look at them go. I sadly don't know too much about these. I think I recognize these lads. I don't know what generation they're from, but I recognize them. But yeah, blue, I really like it. I love the simplified background as well. Like, the simplified background is really catching my attention. Because it's just, you know, bup, bup, bup. The, uh, the trees in the foreground have a light brown. The trees in the background have a darker brown. And then you use two different colors for the, trees, uh, the tree spots. And then you just have three different colors for the clouds. Very nice, very simple, but it works very well because the main focus is this character, right? This is where we're focusing. Just a boop. Just do a hard blue here for a second. This is our focal point. This is what we're aiming for. Anything outside of this is unimportant. They're the first evolution of this Pokemon. Oh, so there's one, wait. This one is the evolution of that one? Or that one's the evolution of this one? Blue, where's the knife? Hidden. I mean, technically these little fellas have like stabby noses. So technically there's, there's knives in the background in the form of the stabby nosed of the stabby-nosed boys. The stabby-nosed gang. The one in the middle is the evolution. Ah, okay. Well, I like it. I like the little wave of dots to be like either a mixture of like leaves or um, like pollen that's going by or just like debris. De like forest debris. Regardless, it's a very nice piece. I like it. I love the simplicity mixed with the nice complexity in the foreground. Like, you've added the nice little shadows. I like the little square for uh, the squares for eyes. The gold or the kind of the goldeny color outline. The, uh, the transparent wings. It's a lot of nice detail here. I like it. Wow, oh, I'm 
Sorry, need to also make sure that I'm drinking. But yeah, I like the heck out of this blue. This is really nice. All right. Hmm. I'm very disappointed. LOL, this one is just a... I'm sorry to disappoint. This one is just wholesome. That's totally fine, blue. And I like it. Spam those eights in chat, boys and girls. Give blue the 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 the, the, the eights that he, knives can be wholesome. <laughs> but give blue the eights that he deserves this is a very nice piece. I like it. All right, we got two left. Unless somebody uh, posted something recently, in which case, then I will go grab it should I need to. But. Uh, the next one is from Solarsi, and since Solarsi was on vacation, we instead got a nice little photo, and it looks like it's a robin, question mark? It looks like a robin to me. Burb! It's burb! One single burb, please. Let me check and see if Solarsi wrote anything specifically for it. Decided to submit a picture of a bird. There were no... No messages about what kind of bird it is. But it looks... A, my gut feeling says it's a robin of some kind, mostly because of the red belly. But it doesn't have to be. I also don't know where the picture was taken, so that makes it more difficult. It's a red wing. A red wing what? Because it certainly ain't. Which is a, thr a thrush? A thrush? A thrush? Thrush? Thrush red wing. Oh, it is. Look at this. It's a red wing. The red wing is most commonly encountered as a winter bird and is the UK's smallest true thrush. Well, now we know. It's called. It's actually called a red wing. It is a bird from the thrush family. I don't know how to pronounce uh, native to Europe and the uh, the pale Arctic, slightly smaller than the related song uh, thrush. I'm learning a lot of things today. Poi Moon, I don't even know what to, what to, how to read what you just said. I saw it in Iceland. Oh, very nice, Solarsi. Yeah, I love... Sorry, it just because I'm so used to, like, you know, like, no, like, North American, like, red robins. Like, the belly is very similar, and they have similar colors. Oh, God, Brian. No, that's illegal. You can't see things like that. Yeah. Hello, liar. American robins are also... Oh! Okay, well, that explains the general similarity in their body structure. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Solarsi. Censored? What do you mean, censored? Now I'm like scanning. I'm like scanning through chat, seeing if there was anything. I think robins are red all around, if I recall correctly. Oh, interesting. My family is like, how to say it? Like very basic rural white in the sense that we do have like a bird book in the house and like some like hey mighty how's it going thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for directing the raid in my direction yesterday that was very kind of you um uh, and we have like bird feeders so if ever like a new bird shows up all of us are like oh my god do you see the bird do you see the bird get the book we gotta figure out what bird it is <laughs> Like, just so ridiculously, like, rural white, you know? <laughs> like, oh my god, it's a new bird. Look at it, it's so beautiful. You should use the app 
Merlin 1010 bird watching has fo- yeah but Solarcy there's a joy in flipping through a book and being like okay what does it look like okay it's got this kind of a body structure so it must be in this in this part of the book okay okay it doesn't it doesn't look like that one doesn't look like that one okay it looks similar to that one but it's not the same but we know it's in this kind of a family da, 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 da. that sounds very on brand for me probably kuma it's definitely a thing that we enjoy doing. By the time you find it, you forget what you're looking for. What are you talking about, Solarcy? The bird is outside the window. We can't forget because it's eating. <laughs> Look, I might have ADHD, but I have a relatively good attention span when I get a hyper-focus moment. And in that case, I want to know what kind of bird it is, so I'm freaking zooming through that book. It's literally outside the window, Solarcy. That'd be like saying that you can't remember what bird this is that's on screen right now because you looked away for a minute. It's literally just, you know, just, oh, there it is. That's what it looks like. If I go to the wild, into bird watch, uh, oh, I got into the wild. Yeah, but that's different though, Solarcy. We're talking about like, at home bird feeders and a bird pops in and just goes num 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 and you're like oh what is that the photographer at the museum i work at is an uh added bird watcher he takes amazing photos the head photographer ooh i have some peeps um who have like i know a couple peeps who do like stuff like that like they have just those like ridiculously powerful and expensive like uh cameras and they just like go out and just photograph things like birds and places one time my buddy who has like like i think his camera setup is probably like two or three thousand dollars or something stupid like that hey subtitles hey one moment hey there we go. Uh, I think it was like two or three thousand dollars in total in terms of like lenses and like a tripod and the camera itself. And he was just like, yeah, so like there's this really cool place in like the city that we're in right now. So I want to go take a picture of it. And I'm just like, oh, that's pretty cool. And he like showed me some of the pictures. And I'm like, oh, shit, these are crazy. He's like, yeah, like this camera can do like super high def pictures. And I'm just like, nice. He's like, yeah. The only problem is, is I learned later that apparently that place is like really sketchy and like people get robbed there a lot. And I'm like, oh, he's like, yeah. I was carrying like two to three thousand dollars worth of camera equipment. <laughs> and I'm like, good, good. Did anything happen? He's like, no, I didn't see anybody there. And I'm just like, okay, well, let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I know the area that he's at. And, like, there's a lot of homeless people in that general area. And some of them can get a little bit aggressive. The city that uh, I used to live in for one of my animation uh, jobs, like, I used to... There were a couple times if we had to do overtime, I would do extra overtime to make sure that um, uh, some of the smaller people at my studio could have like an escort to the bus station because there were some people. I've never experienced any uh, uh, people experiencing homelessness that have gotten violent, but I have encountered many who get irrational and verbally aggressive. And I can't in good conscience let the like the people who are smaller than me walk to the bus stop without at least an extra person there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck if I got a freaking... Uh, if I got to get into a physical altercation with somebody. That doesn't bother me too much. 
like the idea of getting like a having to deal with somebody who's holding a knife i'm not too concerned about it because i'm a psycho i guess but i don't ever want people that i work with to deal with that so if i can make sure that i can keep between them and the person who's being aggressive that's good enough for me <laughs> I've had to do a couple of times, at least from a verbal perspective. Some people can get really mad when you don't give them just a little bit of change. They will start yelling a lot. <laughs> and that's when you're like, all right, you're going to walk in front of me and they are going to be, uh, you know, they are going to be behind us. And I'm going to make sure that I'm peeking over my shoulder every five seconds, just in case. <laughs> Wow, Moon. Wow. I have a tendency to test fate a bit. Oh, no. Solarisi, do you poke the sleeping bear? It's okay, Moon. It was a good joke. I'm just not going to chuckle because I'm mean. But go on, Solarcy, let's hear it. Do you poke the sleeping bear, or in this case, the sleeping person experiencing homelessness? Is that what you're doing? I hope not. Let those people live. <laughs> they just need a sense of humor. God damn it, Kuba. You can't just build on that joke. I do not, but I do walk down sketchy streets. Oh, you test fate in the sense of just like, I'm sure it's fine. I do that too because I'm oblivious as hell. I once walked, uh, I was like really, really, I think I've told this story before. But if you're confident, people don't bother you. Oh my god. So I normally have like a beard and I like to wear hoodies. So I kind of look like a punk and like longer hair. So I kind of look like a punk, especially in like lower lighting. So most, and I tend to walk with my shoulders back. So like most people don't bug me, but I remember once I was, I was like, <sighs> we were living in like pretty low income housing with a bunch of us in the, in the same apartment. Like it was a, how to say it? It was an apartment with three bedrooms and there were four people living there to keep the rent low and uh we were how to say it there was just a night where i just i really just wanted chips like have you ever just had that night where you're just like there's a convenience store about a seven minute walk away i could get chips right now and i just want chips right now like all life's problems can be fixed with a bag of chips <laughs> So I go out, I put on my black hoodie because that was my favorite hoodie at the time. It was nice and comfy, but not too warm because it was, you know, like during, it was like during the summertime. And I go out and I walk and the area, the street has no street lights. So it is just pitch black for a five minute walk on one side is a like is a playground and on the other side is a soccer field so like you're very visible in all directions and i just walked to the convenience store bought a bag of chips and then just walked home and then came back upstairs and then the next day i learned that somebody got robbed at knife point doing the exact same walk earlier that night <laughs> And I'm sitting there like, they would not have taken my chips. Those chips were mine. <laughs> it's funny, too, because it, it made no sense. Because So we had, like, low-income housing. Will, I'll die before they get my chips. I will beat them with the bag of chips. That's what I'll do, duh, Kuma. I'll hit them in the head with the bag of chips and then beat them up because they they turned all my chips to dust, even though it was me. <laughs> but it was such a strange place. So we had, like, two apartment buildings that were definitely low-income housing. 
across the street was like how to say it like cheaper like suburban housing and then if you went down that road with no lights if you took a left you would go to like medium to high in, medium to higher income suburbs which are where those build you know those houses that are just copy pastes of each other and they're specifically like the thin but tall you know like they have like three floors and a basement but they're pretty they're pretty narrow it was just like a bunch of those with a bunch of like relatively like expensive cars and surprise those areas had street lights but it, but as soon as you drove out of their little laneway or like the road that connected all of those as soon as you touched that main side street there was no more light it was just dark all you had was the moon and just like the red like how to say it like the residual light of like the main street where the convenience store was and some of the lights that were on the back porches of like the like the slightly cheaper houses like it was such a sketchy place to walk down <laughs> at night but anyway sorry solarcy thank you so much for the submission thank you for the bird picture Please, everybody, give Solarcy the eights that she so readily deserves, or rightfully deserves. That's the word I was trying to say. We respect uh, peeps for for dis uh, for submitting things, whether it's photos, whether it's animations, whether it's drawings, whether it's models, whatever it happens to be. We appreciate the art that gets posted here. Thank you so much, Solarcy, for the submission. All right, and final one. Unless, hold on, you know what? I'm actually going to check the Discord just in case I did somehow miss one. Okay, looks like this is the last one then. And the final one is actually from Kaju. So, boom. So, Kaju drew a character. I don't think I'm allowed to talk too much about this. In all respects, but he knew that he wasn't going to be able to to do anything this week due to the fact that he's on vacation. So he doodled himself a character instead that he really likes. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, just take this one because I know I'm not going to be able to get to it. That's a good one from Kudzu. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did this in like an hour as well. Like just kind of quick doodled it. Obviously didn't give any color, but it doesn't have to do color. You can see a lot of a lot from this character with like the kind of like how to say it the soft smile and the kind of slightly closed eyes with like very faded eye features showing that they're not particular how to say it that they're not hyper focused on anything. I like it, it's a very nice piece of art. All right, everybody. I don't think I can talk a lot about it because we know Kaju can draw well. Wide shoulder gang. <laughs> I don't think that I can, like, say too much about it, you know? Kaju makes good art. We know this. We all know this. We've experienced it. He draws something nice every time, no matter what it is. So, in that case, everybody just go ahead and drop those eights for Kaju. I know he's not here, but I'm sure he'll rep he'll appreciate them nonetheless. And other than that, I mean, that's that's our week, baby. We did it. Success. We had baguette on our heads. We had ears. We were short. We did art. We rambled. We did horoscopes. We did everything that we needed to do. We hit all of the checkboxes. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. And we did it in, like, what, like a third of the time it would take cut you <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Don't get me wrong. Yahtzee. There you go. This is the speed run. Yeah, Kuba. Unfortunately for my brain, like, I'm like, all right, these are the things I need to do for today. Bum, 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 you know, like, so get to them. And like, also, I needed to ramble about the, the news articles because that's... That, that was for me. I would have rambled about that yesterday if I had experienced it yesterday, you know? But I didn't. So, uh, well, we got to do the thing regardless. So, 
if you guys would like to actually but oh my god it's art week not artwork art week there we go if you guys would like to participate i see that uh disco give me one second if you guys would like to participate in art week uh kaju ha will p be posting one to the or will be posting three prompts topics themes etc in his discord so you can uh follow that on the link down below he uh from there you can either take one of the one of the three prompts or you can take all of the prompts or some of the prompts or none of the prompts whatever you would like to submit for that week is totally fine so long as you're submitting something because at the end of the day that's what we're looking for and like he's like it says in there you can do an animation you can do a, draw, a drawing you can do crafts you can do modeling whatever it is you want to do photography is also okay we just appreciate people submitting stuff so that we can enjoy the creativity of people that's what we like to do all right disco Let's take a peek, see poo. What are you in terms of a sign, Disco? Because I don't know. And got to go back down here. Sagittarius. We have not had Sagittarius yet, so that's actually exciting. All right. Sagittarius. Now, be warned, Disco. Almost every single one except for Leo, has been, you're stressed. You want to avoid talking to people. Get some exercise. So we'll see if that happens here. Uptight is the mood for today. You might be the center of attention at some point. While you normally don't mind, Sagittarius, today uh, might make you nervous. When everyone looks at you and expects you to say something, say it. Keep it short. And then withdraw. You aren't in the mood. Walk to the library and throw yourself into reading about subjects that interest you. It should relieve your stress. Yep. They talked about walking. That counts. That counts. And Solarcy, have yourself a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please uh, have yourself a great sleep. Have a good Monday. When Monday rolls around for you, unless Monday already has rolled around for you, regardless... Cheers. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's art week. Everyone is seeing my art. <laughs> yes, I took a walk this morning. Boom. Disco, you're already ahead of the freaking curve. You're doing great. All right. Now, obviously, the important thing. Do, 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 do. Love is Libra. Friendship is Aries. And career is cancer. Man, you got frickin' you got some good stars today, Disco. You got that sex. Do 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 ba ba wow 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 wow. And I love my sex do do I don't know if anybody remembers that song. <laughs> you got good hustle, you got good vibes, and you got good success. And for some reason, your emoji for today is, <laughs> is dead. <laughs> sex. Sex appeal stems from confidence, so be bold. Hustle. You are getting all kinds of compliments at work. Savor your moment. Vibes. Stay mellow today. It's going to be light. It's going to be a light and easy one. Success. Put in the necessary effort today. You'll get a big reward for it later. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bum. Also, Moon, I do not know what your sign is. I will need you to tell me. Please and thank you. Pisces. Pisces. But there you go, Disco. Obviously, all of this is shenanigans, but still. I'm glad that you went for a walk today. Walking is good. A little bit of exercise every day can be good for you. Uh, Pisces. All right. Pisces. More than usual, you are probably craving solitude today. God damn it, it's happening again. Pisces. Although you may have committed to attending a party or get together, now the idea seems irritating. You may rather work on some tasks or projects, and you may want to go for a, for a workout and relieve some of the tension you feel. The latter idea is good. If you exercise early, you may feel like going out later. Wow, it's almost like everybody wants to be left alone and needs to go for a freaking walk. 
the only one who isn't is Leo, because they're stressing about money problems. <laughs> But obviously, now's the important part. Do do, do do, do do, do do do. That emoji perfectly sums up Moon most days. Just. <laughs> All right. Boop boop, boop boop, boop boop. Bam! Love, Sagittarius. <gasps> Friendship, Tauros. <gasps> And career, Virgo, that's me. <laughs> Sex, semi-high. Humbleness, or hustle, semi-low. Vibe, semi-low. Success, pretty reasonable. Let's take a peeksy poo at what's going on here. All right, sex, update your dating profile. You never know who's looking. Oh, God, I haven't been on a dating website in, like, five years. They're scary and frightening. Hustle. Work nine to five uh, may be a real buzzkill, but if Dolly Parton can do it, so can you. Dolly Parton does a nine to five? Hold on. Isn't Dolly Parton a singer? Dolly Parton is an American singer, songwriter, actress, philanthropist, and businesswoman known primarily for her decades-long career in country music. What does that have anything to do with a 9 to 5? Oh my god, because she has a song called 9 to 5. Immense rage. Kaju, hello! Can I get your sign, please, before you leave? No, please, at least give me your sign so I know what to read, even if you're not here. But enjoy the beach, my dude. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, he's also a Taurus. Got it. Or Tauros, Taurus, whatever the heck you call it. Pisces. Disco just like Pisces is my or I'm romance with Pisces. Kaju is a Pisces now, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, sorry. Uh vibes. Some uh some days you get rainbows and some days you get rain. Pack an umbre an umbrella today. I mean, I feel like you should always have an umbrella on your person if you're going outside. You never know when it's going to rain. I do that all the time. I have a little umbrella in my backpack, and I always take my um my backpack with me at all times. Success. You may not have everything you want, but you have everything you need. Stay grateful. Stay humble. Humble brag a little bit. All right. We have done Tor uh, Taurus already, but we're going to do Taurus again because Kaju did ask. But we'll zoom through it. We'll zoom. We'll, 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 we'll full zoomies our way through it. All right. You tend to enjoy solitude, Tauros, and today you might feel more reluctant than usual. Friends... Uh, could invite you out, but you would likely not accept, or you are not likely to accept the offer. You might even feel a little irritated. This is a great day to work out or throw yourself into your own projects. Your concentration is good, uh, and physical activity will relieve you of stress. I mean, Kaju's literally hanging out with his best bud right now on the beach. He is doing the opposite of this. He is not being, so he is not enjoying solitude. He's enjoying his best dude. Okay, I will sit down. No, Moon, I'm sorry. And he's got Capricorn as love, Leo as friendship, and Scorpio as career. The sex is okay. The hustle is okay. The vibes are okay. But succeeding, he is not. He's got that robot emote. He's got the sex, which is the, uh, you're feeling, uh, you're feeling flirty tonight. Your charms might be enough to seal the deal. Honestly, this summarizes Kudju pretty hard. All he does is flirt. He's just a flirty, flirty boy. The sex is okay. You heard me, Blue. You heard what I said. Spencer, how's it going? Hello, hello, how's it going, my dude? 
Let's see. Hustle, your dreams are so close you can taste them, but you're not quite there. Vibes, uh, vibe, time to count all the blessings you have. Things are looking up. It's true. He's on a freaking beach right now. Ow, I bit my tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Success, money talks. Oh, yeah. The really, the weirdly cutting statement of this sentence. This is like, this has a razor's edge to it for just no reason. And how's it going, Spencer? I hope that your weekend has been treating you well so far. Happy Sunday. But yeah, there you go. I think we got everybody now. Got Pisces. I think we hit, we hit a lot of the different, the different ones. We got Taurus, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Pisces. We've only, we didn't get uh, Aries, Virgo, Libra, and Aquarius. I think those are the only ones. We got a, we got a vast majority of them, which is kind of cool. I wonder if there, I wonder if there's some weird connection between like the different signs and whether or not they're terminally online or not. Which, there's probably no evidence towards that whatsoever, but it still fascinates me to some extent. <sighs> but yeah, I think we have officially completed Art Week. I don't know what else to do. All I know is that I'm two-faced. Is that what Gemini is? Is Gemini supposed to be two-faced? Like, oh my god, that's so Gemini. Stabbed you in the back. Ugh. Gemini, am I right? <laughs> is that how it's supposed to go, Blue? Apparently. That's silly. Don't let people tell you who you are and how you act. Live your own life. Much easier. But blue is precious. Exactly. I will not have this slander be spoken. It's okay. Both your faces are cute. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are going to go ahead and look for somebody to raid. Let's see who we got. Oh, we only have one. Let's go art week. Yeah, we did it, everybody. Hold on. We'll drop one more series of eights for everybody. Whether you participated or whether you just hung out here, you still get the eights. Surprisingly, like, nobody online right now. Hmm. Hmm. If you guys have anybody in particular that you would like to raid, I am very much open to suggestion because I don't have a lot of peeps at the moment, and most of their content does not relate Um to like art stuff so if you guys have so have a particular somebody made a good oh well thank you very much brian i appreciate that Ooh, who's this person they are an art streamer are they live right now let me grab that name and take a pixie poo oh god ads Blech. One moment. The ads. Oh, yeah. The lad who's going to do the nuclear bomb. Oppenheimer. That's the name of the movie. Oh, they're drawing the two characters from um from Blue Archive. I know these characters. Yeah, why not? We're going to go ahead and say hi to them. Uh, 
The only reason I'm not doing uh I'm doing Cra I'm not doing Crane today, Moon, is because they are doing ASMR, and I know a fair number of people in chat would not enjoy ASMR. So we're just going to So we're going to not do that today, just because I know that not everybody wants to do the ASMR. Alright, so uh to start with just to do this one more time. Art week. If you guys want to join, there's Kudju's Discord. He should be posting some new ones relatively soon in terms of prompts, which we will be doing again. Uh, we will be doing this again next week, but it will be on his channel this time. It'll be a good time. Would recommend stopping by if you can and participate if you want to. Next, my socials. Boom. You guys know the drill. We got a Twitter. We got a Discord. We got, we got a YouTube with highlights and shorts. There's going to be a couple shorts up there relatively soon because I'm doing a bunch of shorts this week. Uh, we do. We got a VODs channel. We got an ASMR channel, which the last one's obviously not going to be appealing to everybody, and that's okay. I do need to put more content on there, though, because I am really, really slacking in that regard. And no problem at all, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. All right, we are going to raid uh, to -to Toturi. Toturi? I think I'm saying that correctly. I hope so. And no problem at all, Brian. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have yourself a great rest of your night. And cheers for now. All right. Badoom. Did that work? It did work. Perfect. All right. I can't spell for crap right now. Boom. If you are subscribed, please use the top raid message. If you are not subscribed, please use the bottom raid message. We are going to go ahead and raid our way over to uh, Toturi. I think is how you would say that. We're uh, they are doing art at the moment. They are drawing stickers for uh, for Blue Archive, which is actually a gotcha game that I played once upon a time. And yeah, thank you everybody. And Artificer, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate having you here. All right, everybody. The quick outro before we head on out. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for... Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just popped in and out for a second, know that you were super appreciated. Thank you so much for being here for this extra stream this week. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to be uh, doing a collab with Haya. We're doing the thing again. I forgot to promote that. Whoopsie daisy. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to be live an extra day next week as well to do, uh, to do more Stranded Deep. All right. I hope that you guys are having a great day afternoon. What are you playing with highest? Stranded Deep. Uh, I hope that you guys have a great day, afternoon, or night, whatever time it happened to be for you. I hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're drinking plenty of water. And when you finally do sleep, whatever time it happened to be for you, I hope that you have a very restful sleep. Thank you, uh, sleep bedheads and sleepy brads. Until the next sleepover, bye!